I'm not gonna waste your time. Let's go into this straight away. If your camera shoots 60 FPS, you can pretty much have this effect. What I have in brief is a series of clips that I've slowed down to 5% and then essentially used optical flow to create this super slow motion effect. This is the sequence here. This was for a Dot Martin shoot. Now I didn't shoot in 120 FPS. I have a camera that shoots in 120 FPS. I didn't have time to change to 120 FPS. If we go into this nested sequence here, what we have is, sorry that this is in um, vertical now. It was because it wasn't originally a vertical video. What we have here is three clips. This is what it looks like. What I've done is I've gone right click, speed and duration here, and I've changed the speed to 5%. Where it says here, time interpolation, you can select it to optical flow. Normally it's gonna be on frame sampling, but you wanna hit it to optical flow and hit okay. This has been done for the other clips also, 5% optical flow, 5% optical flow. And as you can see, this is not rendered right now. We still have this yellow bar above the clips and it looks really shit. So optical flow basically, it basically says, hey, there's more frames in between this that we can make artificially create. Let's make those frames. I think maybe someone told me that one time. I don't know. I just use it and it looks dope as The only way to really make this effect work is if the subject is actually not moving a lot in the first place. Let me just render this for you right now to show you what it looks like. Super smooth, but if I take the same clip and I move it down here, and let's say we go to a part where the lighting changes. Okay, here. This is where the effect won't work. There you go. That is what it looks like when you do optical flow with the lighting changing. It's kind of a sick effect, but it's not what I want. That will also happen if there's too much movement from the subject in the frame. That is why we slow it down to 5% and not 10% because it looks really shitty when it's like at 10. Sometimes can work. So in brief, you wanna slow your clips down to like a 5%, pick a part where they're not moving a lot. Then if you wanna finish this effect, you can add other audio effects to it, such as a low pass filter, which cuts out the track at this moment. Uh, and then also some high pitch ringing sounds like, or the crowd screaming. That's not the real crowd. And then some high pitch ringy sort of sounds. If you wanna copy my shit completely. I also put on here, last thing, a directional blur, just to like help ease into this shot. We've got like a, yeah, I mean, that is really bait. That's almost too much. I wish I didn't do it so much. Let me pull it down a little bit. And essentially that is just a bit of directional blur taken from the same nested clip and put together. The reason why I've nested these is so that I can add a small zoom onto it all with keyframes uh, to just give it a bit more movement in the super slow motion. Anyways, that is how to make a super slow motion effect in Premiere Pro without having 120 FPS or higher FPS uh, rates on your camera. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day. Catch you in the next video. Peace.